Okay, let's try this. We started this earlier, and um, Duncan Wright, welcome back, man. God bless Jerry Jones. Be the GM forever. Okay. <laughs> All righty. Let's um. We can listen to a little of this while we are waiting for the second half because this is kind of important for us. In the latest of a long line of contract questions. Mm -hmm. uh, going into this game. We Riley is back. Welcome back, Riley. Is there any significance or importance to wrapping something like this up from a team aspect going into a season where you don't have that hanging over, not just you, but, but everyone week in and week out? Ah, it's a great question. Maybe, uh, maybe from a team aspect, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, you know, I've always talked about how present I can be, um, but understanding not everybody is capable of that, to be honest with you. Uh, that, yeah, there could definitely be some benefit in that. Beauty is um, her name. But at how the end of the day, uh, it's a lot that entails in parts of moving parts in the contract. And um, those guys, I know both sides are working. And mm -hmm. um, yeah. Both sides are working. Are working to get it done before the weekend? I would say that they're working. Um, I don't know if that's, that's <laughs> they're working. the timeline. I can't say, oh, hell, I've put a timeline on to Todd and Steven if we don't get this done, this or that, but uh, I know they're working. But they're working toward to getting one done. Yeah, they're working. Would you be okay if, say, we're in week two and they're still working, that kind of thing? I would still be working. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's the only thing that matters to me. How, so. how are you able to compartmentalize in a situation like this? I've never played the game for that. Um, I play the game for, for the pure love for the guys in that locker room. Um, yes, this game has always brought me something that, that not a lot of things in, in life do. Um, that that's the type of piece that it does, is being out there in between the lines with mm -hmm. people that, that you share a brotherhood, um, you share a brotherhood with. Uh, yeah, it's something that's just special about this game of football, and we're just blessed that yeah, the money true. comes with it, and I'm in the position that I'm in, that we can be having these conversations. But... Um, that doesn't motivate me. Last week you said it would say a lot about how people feel if it didn't get done now that we're only a few days away from week one. What would that feeling be if it doesn't get done by Sunday? People change their feelings daily. <laughs> um, can't say I have the same feelings I had last week. <laughs> <laughs> Clean it up, bro. Clean it up. <laughs> the fact that you grew up, you know, rooting for this team, loving this team. How important is it to you the opportunity to be the quarterback that ends this drought? Oh, that's uh, yeah, that's what that's what motivates me on being here. Honestly, mm -hmm. is, is to be the quarterback that that does it, that wins it. Um, I don't think that winning in any other place would be the same as winning it here, and so that is a number one and one to be here. To be honest with you. What are some of the uh, the bigger challenges of, of the Browns' defense? Obviously, they're one of the top defenses in the league, but just in breaking them down film-wise in your meetings, what, what are some of the things that stand out? Yeah, I mean, they got an elite it's player on, on every level, um, whether it be Miles Garrett, obviously, up front, Jock, don't, don't know how to say his last name, the linebacker, uh, and then obviously Ward in, in the back end, and, and Del Pitt, a lot of guys. Uh, so when you've got a, an elite guy on every level, um, that, that obviously is the strength. And then having played Schwartz earlier in my career, um, understanding what he wants to do, um, and watching their tape last year, they're very physical. They're fast. They know they they uh, know how to play to their strengths, and mm -hmm. um, they're 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 a great great matchup for us. And I'm excited for us to kick off the air over there at their place. One, back, one more thing on the contract. Like, why are your feelings this better, different this week than it was last week? I don't have any feelings toward it this week. I'm focused on the Browns and simple okay, as that. There you go. Perfect There's answer, bro. The locker room. There's some guys that back you in very strong terms with some of the words they choose to support you. You walked into this locker room or eight years ago with that ability to build relationships, it seemed like, from us, from the outside. Um, was that true back then? And, and how has that relationship building, you think, been important for you? Um, yeah, it's everything. You, you've got to when – you, when you play this game, such a physical game, a team game with people that you love and that you pour into and it's vice versa. Uh, it makes showing up every day, I don't even want to say easier, but but better. Um, you're excited. Uh, mm -hmm. You want to come in this locker room. You want to push guys to be better. Uh, you want to get to know, know and help them on and off the field and in every which way that you can. And you become more than 
um, em employees with each other rather or co-workers with each other rather than true brothers and, and family and um, I've built some amazing relationships with teammates over, over these nine years and um, yeah I'm blessed I'm blessed with, with so many of those guys in there I know we're talking about um, or maybe mul multiple guys but obviously I've seen what Cook said and I've mentioned time and time mm -hmm. again that's one of the best men that, that, that I've ever played with um, obviously one of the best football players you've looked at his resume and what he's done but um, one of the best men and that's a guy he's an epitome of what I mean by somebody that just the way that they carry themselves the way that they approach life push you to be your best each and every day and um, there's, there's been so many of those guys and I'm fortunate to be the quarterback being able to connect with so many different people at this position and uh, something I don't take for granted any means. Speaking of your connection, how is it with CD Lamb and his <laughs> ramp up, and how do you feel like he'll be? Dak is not my son. For Fresh chase. Yeah, he'll be just fine. Um, Although we've him had and Michael do look a bit uh, alike. Getting him back in, uh, obviously, and he was in shape, but just on the field, defenders on your back, uh, or trying to catch in the tight windows. He's ready. I mean, he's an elite player, elite e -pl uh, elite player. Just turn on the film from last year, and you'll see that um, mm -hmm. he's gotten better. Um, so right now, it's just about. Um, yeah, going out there and showing it for the both of us. When you look at what you and him were able to do last year, he led the league in yards after catch, also had the most targets. How do you balance wanting to feed that guy the ball as much as possible while elevating the other receivers? Yeah, I mean, I think that's what the, the other receivers have done in that time off is they've created that balance. Um, they allow me to go out there, go through my reads, and um, obviously then the coaches will put the guys in the position, whether they're one, they're two, um, it, throughout my reads. But I think that's also something that's – that was crucial in the time that he was gone is um, being for those young guys to be able to step up, create more of a rapport with me, um, to understand uh, where I'm trying to throw the ball, our breaking points, um, the windows I want, uh, and just understanding our timing. Um, that, that, that's helped everybody. And so now that CD's back, it's really just bonus that we're all in the same page that we are. And then you have an elite player like that to add to the mix. So much on the line, you know, obviously we've talked about your contract, Mike's contract, so many players. I'm you know, on one-year deals. The beginning of the season seemed different than past years. It seemed more on the line for everybody. This Do you think? Franchise. Yeah, perhaps. Um, as you just said it, right? Everybody, I think if you look, per if they, we all look personally into last year, of, last year of our deal, it's going to create a little bit of that. Um, but then when you look to the left, the right, and there's so many people in that situation, um, I think it makes it a little bit easier to, to lock in and, 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 and wrap those arms around each other and say, uh, this is on us to, to, to change that, to make a difference, um, to be here next year. And um, also just going into year nine, all my past experiences, all of that plays in hands, plays into the hand of making me, this team better um, and, and making that, that, that uh, feel feel different, I guess you could say. You mentioned Cooks from a, from a personal standpoint, but when you guys were on the field, y'all have had another year together. You spent time up there with him. Yep. There are going to be opportunities. You guys know that they're going to look at CD and try and take him away. Can you see a little bit higher level of opportunity between you sure. and him this season? Yeah, for sure. Uh, you just said, especially going into the season, knowing that teams are going to take away 88. That's just, uh, mm -hmm. or try to take away They're going to try. As, as they should. Um, and so when, when that, you need these other guys to step up. And, and Cooks being the veteran, being the guy that whose resume out of those others um, st stands alone, you, you know he has the production. You know he has the in-game production against different opponents with different quarterbacks. So for me, it's about making sure that our, um, our rapport, as I said, is, is um, invincible. So we understand where we both, what we both want to do. Um, I can anticipate more with the guy. Uh, he, he understands when, when I'm throwing the ball in and out of routes. And yeah, I could definitely, you can, we all can expect a little bit more um, out of him. How's your comfort how? level with BB right now, especially a rookie center and you guys got to make the calls together? Right? This is going to be key. Great, how's very, it? very comfortable. Um, I think it goes back to when the, uh, the coaches made the change. I told him to get up there, make a confident point, be confident in, in, in what you're seeing. And then if it's not, if I want to change it, I'll just do it. I'll just do that. And so don't be hesitant. Um, understand. That, that you have the talent, you've got the makeup to, to do this. And uh, for me, it's just about pouring the confidence I have into, into him um, to making sure that he knows he's got not only me, but a locker room and guys who support him and know that he can go do the best and get his job done. Is, that is there a something special you noticed about his mental makeup for sure. that will allow him to make that jump? Yeah, a guy loves football, always focused. Um, 
yeah, his demeanor doesn't change. Joey um, Gonzalez. Play bad play. He's on to the next. Um, and that's something that that, that I love, that, that I my, myself do. So um, when you see that, that's contagious. When, and when you're the center of that old line, um, sure, I make calls and all that, but he's the one talking directly to the guards and, and making sure that that gets passed out to the tackles and tight ends. And so um, it's definitely contagious. He has a, he has definitely a, a great demeanor about him that um, he'll be a hell of a player for a long time, as long as he wants in this league. Well, Cooper said earlier this week that he's he's confident in making those calls, but he knows that you can can clean it up. Is that common for a veteran quarterback to do that for a rookie? And does that necessitate you maybe wanting the calls even earlier from the sideline in case you need a little extra time? Um, I'm, I think we've got a great pace uh, just in the way that, that we play this game, the way that Mike calls it, um, the way that we've been practicing. So um, the pace is going to take care of itself. And, uh, yeah, as a, as a veteran quarterback, yeah, it's on me. When I was a rookie, I had a veteran center, veteran center who did it all for me. So um, I think it's just, right, roles have switched. And so um, for me, it's about, as I said, pouring my confidence into him that, hey, you, you know what you're seeing. Go up there and make the call. And if I see something I want to get to outside of that, <laughs> Just make the adjustments from there when I make the call, and, and we're good to go. And so uh, the communication's been outstanding with him. The Mike, receivers, Mike, a bunch of your receivers have talked about throwing with you in the off season and the work you guys have been able to get in. And it was kind of a big deal when you got that field in your backyard. But now looking back on it with all the work that you guys have gotten, do you think you've gotten the, the return on investment? For, for sure. You? For sure. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, definitely. Do you think that you've said it? Like That's my quarterback. For franchise quarterbacks to, to do that across the league? Uh, if they're smart, um, but then again, um, there's been days here, whether it's the summer or not, it was hot, and I've had to use a couple of high schools, so fortunate <laughs> to those guys as well. So um, maybe, maybe I can put a bubble on it, you know? <laughs> put a it's bubble. A contract. Yeah. Yeah. Right. See, there you go. So, yeah. 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 What should people expect from Zeke? What should people expect from Zeke? Yeah, yeah I mean, obviously, we, I've talked about just the ultimate team player he is. Um, obviously, you probably won't see the, the amount of carries he had once he was once a Cowboy, but you're going to see a guy who's productive in everything that we ask him to do, whether it's running the ball, whether it's the pass protection. Um, All right, there we go. That's our quarterback, Dak Prescott, talking as we get ready for the second half. Um, I want to go back real quick here. Um, where was the comment? This was... Um, comment that was just kind of touched my soul let's see beauty is her name and Rhonda sparks i love my birds i got respect for mark and enjoy the rival and respect between eagles and cowboys and you know let me say shout out to you because that's the way it should be um because there, there shouldn't be any hate i mean it, it's trash talking it's football it's a rivalry and that's what it should be about you know you get some people that take this sometimes too far i mean the amount of hate that people have and and want to give to others i hope that at some point in the very near future that we can get beyond so much hate and animosity because we're all in this shit together and with that i do have to do one thing shouting out so let, let me shout out to my eagles friends out there let, let me get this for you as we get started with the second half um Finding my old channel again, there was some really cool stuff that we used to have. And let me show you what I mean. This is how we started with Joe Blue Sports. For the you Eagles. There you go. Nothing but love there for you Eagles. How about that? Okay. <laughs> Nothing but love here, y'all. Nothing but love. Okay. It's it's just jokes, okay? <laughs> oh boy. Too broke to pay attention. You're buying the pizza? You tell me where, bro. I will be there. I will be there, man. All right, let's see what Kansas City's got here. Fourth, I'm sorry, third quarter, 14 minutes, 13 seconds. 
Mahomes got all day, wide open. He's running, bumbling, stumbling.